Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is March 12th, 2023. Um, we are uh, we are in the middle of Lent, but on Sundays we don't celebrate Lent. We kind of take a day off. Uh, at least that's what my Lent stuff says. If you do it differently, let me know in the comments. I don't know. I've never done it before, so... Um, for me, Lent is brand new. I've never actually done it before. But So on Sundays, instead of reading from the devotional that I've been reading from, because that's only 40 days, if I read on the Sundays, then that would uh, end six days prior, or four days prior, something like that. For uh, One of those, yeah, it would, it would come short of Easter, so uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, so instead, what I've done is I'm reading Ephesians. Uh, last Sunday, we didn't do it. Um, since there are six Sundays, I'm reading through Ephesians, so this Sunday I will read two chapters of Ephesians instead of one. Ephesians 2. Oh, this is uh, fluffy, by the way. And you we made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins, in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit of who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others. But God, who is rich in mercy because of his great love, which with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, by grace you have been saved." and raised us up together, and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in, G in Christ Jesus, for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Therefore, remember that you, once Gentiles in the flesh, who were called uncircumcision by what is called the circumcision, made in the flesh by hands, that at that time you were without Christ being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope, and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been thought near by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made both one, and has broken down the middle wall of separation, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, that is the law of commandments, contained in ordinances, so as to create in himself one new man from the two, thus making peace and that he might reconcile them both to God in one body through the cross, thereby putting to death the, enem the enmity. And he came and preached peace to, to you who were afar off and to those who were near. For through him we both have access by one Spirit to the Father. Now therefore you are no longer strangers no, nor foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom the whole building, being fit fitted together, grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you are also being built together for a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. Chapter 3 for this reason I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, for you Gentiles, if indeed you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which was given to me to, for you, how that by revelation he made known to me the mystery, as I have briefly written already, by which, when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to his holy apostles and prophets, 
that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ through the gospel, of which I became a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given to me by the effective work of his power. To me who am less than the least of all the saints, this grace was given, which I should preach among the Gentiles that unsearchable, the unsearchable riches of Christ. And to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery, from which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in God, who created all things through Jesus Christ. To the intent that now the manifold wisdom of God might be made known by the church to the principalities and powers in the heavenly places, according to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence through faith in him. Therefore, I ask that you do not lose heart at the tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might throughout his, through his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be made to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height, to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. It's good stuff. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you God, for uh, having Paul write for us. Uh, these awesome, awesome words. No one could explain Christianity like Paul um, and uh, God anointed. God anointed him in so many ways. So um, thank God that uh, he had sent him to do what he did. Paul there saying that he's just a, just a conduit for the grace of Christ. That all of us should be conduits for the grace of Christ. Uh, we won't have a Bible study on this right now. Uh, there's a lot to unpack there, but the Word of God itself stands on its own. So, praise God for that. Uh, let's pray, and we'll be on our way. Lord, we praise you for your Word. We thank you, Lord, that uh, you have given us these words to hold on to, to look look to when we're struggling, Father God. If Paul himself was such a sinner, and was considered full of grace, full of you, Lord. Uh, we also should be the same. Paul was the chief sinner, he says in another another portion, Lord. and uh, He was still forgiven. He murdered Christians, and he was still forgiven. Lord, thank you for that forgiveness, and we praise you, Father God, for your word. We pray, Lord God, that you would bless us today as uh, some of us go to worship, some of us stay home, some of us go other places just pray, Lord God, that you would uh, lift us up and keep us in you uh, today. Thank you. Well, have a good day today. I am uh, going to eat today because today's my eating day. So, praise God. See you later.